benefit for families waiting for justice. Supporters gathered on the South Bank tonight to support Project Cold Case. The organization continues its work to find answers in unsolved cases and often succeeds in doing just that. With music and food, supporters came together for a fundraiser at the Southern Grill. All of the proceeds going to benefit Jacksonville's Project Cold Case. We're raising awareness, trying to raise funds for them to help other families find some closure for their loved ones that have been murdered. Bobby Farah is no stranger to the kind of loss many here have experienced. His father was murdered at a Jacksonville convenience store in 1974, and with no leads, the case went cold. That is until December, when it was reopened and investigators eventually tracked down and arrested Freddie Farah's suspected killer. Project Cold Case played a major role in that arrest. I never gave up. I always knew that there's somebody out there that was responsible uh, for my father's murder, and I uh, really wanted to find out who that person was. And with the help of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, um, we were able to uh, get that information. Sergeant Dan Jansen with JSO says the arrest proves even after more than four decades, a case can move forward. We took a look at the case, we reviewed it as a team, and we saw that there was some evidence that we could work with. And so we focused on that evidence and, and went forward with it from there. Farah hopes tonight's benefit will help bring the same kind of developments to other cases that have now gone cold. My dad was an awesome man. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's an awesome event. Johnny Miller is expected to be extradited back to Jacksonville next week from Louisiana. He'll then move closer to trial for the murder of Freddie Farah.